Communion Antiphon. In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. Good morning. Good morning. Today's Mass intention is for Frank Heyer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You will send to you the contrite heart, Lord have mercy. You are called to you came to call a sinner, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eyes can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which suspend every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, Say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, Because of your haughty, haughty of heart, you say, A God am I. I, got, I, I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea, and yet you are a man and not a God, however you may think yourself like a God. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God, Therefore, I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit, there to die a bloody corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you then say, I am a God, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a God. Hand it over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners. For I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. The sponsorial song. It is I who deal death and give life. I would have said, I will make an end of them and blot out their name from men's memories. Had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, feared that these foes would mistakenly boast. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it, for they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. How could one man rout a thousand, or two men put ten thousand to flight, unless I, it was because their rock sold them and the Lord delivered them up? Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. Hallelujah, 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 
Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eyes of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for men, this is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and follow you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in a new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his thrones of glory, Will yourself sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel? And everyone who has given up horses or brothers, houses or brothers or sisters, or father or mother or children or lands, for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. At my home parish in Vietnam, everyone lives in the neighborhood around the church. Many of them live there for a long time and don't move out of the parish, so they know each other very well and feel very close to one another. For this reason, they usually go to the funeral mass if they know anyone in the parish passing away. The same like them, I also went to many funeral masses if I knew anyone passing away. Then, in one funeral mass, I heard an interesting homily from a visiting priest. In his homily, he mentioned about three things which should attract us and touch our desire to have them. Two of those great things are the power and the wealthy. As human beings living in this secular world, power should be the trap for many of us. We want to have power so that we can control everything and don't have to listen to anyone. And the same like that, wealthy should be also the other thing we want to have. Today, our reading also challenges us to look at our attitude toward power and wealthy. In the first reading, the prophet Ezekiel speaks of the prince of Tyre, who has gained great riches and was even mightier in his own mind than in reality. The response of Saul point out the folly of being conceited and boastful. Then, in our gospel, Jesus' warning to the people to make it sound like it is impossible for the wealthy to get into the heaven. But what may be interesting for us is the disciples respond to Jesus. In their remark, they said to Jesus, well then, who can be there? They realize that all of them hold on certain possessions and values. In this sense, we may think about some certain aspect of our life as the prized possessions, which we find is difficult for us to do. As we reflect on our reading today, we may realize two things. The first thing is that we may become too attracted to some specific things in our life. Then the second thing was that 
we may fail to see God's handiwork in the positive dimension of our life. Those two things should be the two sides which we hope to experience to the fullness of God's kingdom in our life. Now together, we lift up our hearts in prayer to God, who is always present within us. For Pope Francis, may God give him strength as he shares Christ's message with the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear For the salvation of the world, may the love of God through the witness of the church touch every heart on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear for those who have suffered trials of any kind because of the global pandemic, may the Lord look graciously upon their needs and grant them relief and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces where they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Lovely and merciful God, we put our trust in you and ask that you hear our prayers and grant us what we need according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray the prayer for protection and healing from the coronavirus and also our family prayer. Lord Jesus, you travel from towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Guide research and develop the vaccine. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Stay by our side in this time of uncertainty, anxiety, and sorrow. Grant us your peace. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus. For you are our loving and healing Lord. Our Lady of Prime Sucker, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Brock, and St. Rosalie, pray for us. Amen. Loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our heart eyes, have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Ram Sucker in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Paul, and Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may all build the community founded on the values of Jesus, which you bring back to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may walk as children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Promise, our courage to help us. Mother Henrietta Delio, pray for us that we may be a holy family. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. They will be taught for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
Growth of the guy and look up in the hands. We do be from our spiritual friend. Praise my brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, like which is brought about a forest exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your arms. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is he truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we shall pray in love, his resurrection we are confessed with living faith, that this coming in glory we await with unwavering hope, and so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as with our hands, we are Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the path of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this year we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the newborn so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave this to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave this to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of life, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death for until you come alive. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be guided to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring close to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, the Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph the Spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor be forever and ever. At the same command and for my divine teaching, we name this name, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all these plans, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your children, and graciously grant our peace and unity. In accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless this our God, who holds the supper of the Lamb. Communion and upon. With the Lord there is mercy, in him is plentiful redemption.
Let us pray. May our taker of Christ in these sacraments we humbly employ your mercy, Lord, that and from to his image talker. We may marry also to be his co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Master is at Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God reveal to him the love we pray, and the us the prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, as it is in and all the evil spirit who prowl about the world seeking.